Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the uh, HVAC compressor clutch operation and testing. Now most of you already know what a compressor clutch looks like. Uh, so, you know, basically it's uh, nothing more than a magnetic coil uh, which actuates uh, or measures the, the, uh, the plate in front of the compressor. It is composed of the uh, clutch plate in front of it, the magnetic coil, uh, which also has the pulley with the bearings and all that, and the hub in the, towards the back. Uh, so again, you know, once this thing is energized, uh, it actually creates a magnetic field and it uh, engages the clutch uh, plate and it, it engages it engages a shaft uh, inside the, the compressor and that's how it actuates uh, the compressor. Now these compressor clutches have to be adjusted. Uh, when you install them, they're brand new and if you fail to do it, it's the compressor is not going to last long. Okay. Uh, on screen here, you can actually see the the front of the compressor. It has like very similar to the rotor uh, or on the brakes. Uh, this this has to be very smooth. Otherwise, it's not if it's if, if it's scarred or it has a groove in there, uh, which is not the original groove from the factory. Uh, it's then you have to replace it. Uh, you can cut these things, you know, on the lathe. So, uh, uh, but the main thing is to remember that it has to be adjusted with a series of shims uh, which actually look they look like washers you know uh, you have to measure it and you have to adjust it uh, pretty much now on screen here this is important you can actually see this up uh, and like an exploded view uh, where you see the compressor the, the little bottle there to the to the right hand side that's a dryer but you also see the circuitry that actually engages the compressor and this is the same for 99.9% .9 of cars out there that have a compressor clutch uh, a compressor clutch you have the relay which you see in the, in the almost in the center here on top of the compressor that's a relay it's not on top of the compressor but you, we're just showing it so that you can actually see uh, it, it's inside the uh, the fuse box but anyhow uh, then there's the ACM and the AC head which is the AC computer Usually the, the AC head is on the dash. That's the whole computer for the air conditioning for the climate control system. Now, uh, the AC head uh, controls, uh, it sends a signal, uh, a command signal to the ECM. And then the ECM actuates the, uh, the, the relay and also gives it a ground to, for the compressor clutch. It's not the other way around. It's, it is the ECM that controls the compressor clutch, not the, the AC head. And this is important because when diagnosing issues with the uh, compressor clutch, uh, it could be the ACM or it could be the AC head, but you have to understand how it works and who controls who. Okay, so the ECM always controls the compressor clutch directly. Now in this basic animation, you can actually see how the compressor clutch is engaged. There's no big deal. Most of you already know this. Most of you have already seen a compressor uh, engaged. Some of you do not, you know, so, but we're just showing it to you so that we can actually do the full explanation on adjustment and testing of the compressor clutch because it's important, especially the adjustment. Now, on screen here, you can actually see uh, something called the compressor hub to pulley air gap. This is how you adjust uh, the compressor clutch. Okay, you have the pulley, which is driven by the belt, you have the hub all the way uh, the tip of the compressor. And you have the compressor coil further back, which is controlled by the relay, uh, which is controlled by the ECM. Okay, it actually provides power, and then uh, the actual uh, ECM provides the ground on the other side. The relay only provides the power, okay, the ground, which is actuated by the ECM also. And then the other side provides the ground, which is the ECM that provides the ground. This air gap has to be measured, and as you can see on screen, uh, the air gap. Uh, you, you measure it with a feeler gauge, uh, same as a spot plug or what, you know, whatever. You know. So it's uh, very straightforward. There is uh, specifications for the air gap for the compressor. It has to be measured always, all the time. A lot of the compressors that you buy nowadays already come 
as pre-assembled. However, it doesn't mean uh, that you're going to get the, uh, the air gap right. Okay, so you should always check it before you install the compressor, and if not, then you just, there's a bolt in, in, in front of it, uh, remove the bolt, and then gap it properly, okay? You have to do it. And again, we're going to repeat ourselves here. Uh, it is the ECM that controls the compressor coil, uh, the, the clutch itself. Uh, of course, it actuates the relay, and then the relay uh, gives it power, and then the other side, which is the ground, uh, it, it's given by the ECM. Now, the AC head commands the ECM, and the ECM commands the compressor clutch to turn on. Now, we're going to show you the best way to test uh, the comp uh, compressor clutch uh, uh, circuitry. Now, the first thing you look for is for the relay. Make sure, uh, you, you know, the compressor clutch coil only has two wires going to it. The power, which is steady power, and then the ground, which is given by the ECM. Now, make sure that you locate the relay first and make sure that the relay is actuated. Uh, it is being actuated nine times out of ten by the ECM itself. Um, and if not, if it's an older vehicle, make sure that it's not, if it's actuated by the uh, ignition switch, then uh, pretty much do your checkups in there. Make sure that this relay is giving power to one side, one leg of the compressor clutch. Okay, now, and the relay looks something like this. It's, these are typical relays for compressor clutch. Now, on screen here, you can see the compressor clutch uh, and how you go about testing using a current amp probe. This is the best way to do it. You can do all your tests manually and do a test here, test there. Fine, that's all fine. But the best way to do it is using a, a clutch because you could have power going to the compressor clutch. Uh, the compressor clutch may not be actuating. There must, must, could be something wrong inside. Uh, and you don't know what it is, really. So the only way to test is to use a clamp-on uh, low amperage, low current amp pro. And now, on screen, this is exactly what you're going to see on your uh, oscilloscope. Uh, believe me, guys, you know, this is, this is the best way to test uh, almost any um, coil circuitry. Uh, but when it comes to compressors, this is it. This is the waveform that you're going to get for a good uh, compressor uh, clutch coil uh, when it's being actuated. Uh, and you can, you can do these tests, you know, with the car running. You have to do it with the car running. Make sure you don't get your fingers, you know, accordingly on the pulley, between the belt and the pulley. So be careful. Use your best judgment in there. Now, uh, what you're going to see here, what, you, what you're actually seeing here is, say, a current ramp. This is called a little slope in there at an angle of about 45 degrees. That's called current ramping. Okay. On the, uh, the, the first cursor, which is the uh, vertical line, that's the compressor turn on, the clutch turn on, okay? And it has to have that slanted line. If it goes up all of a sudden and then it starts slanting, there's, there's a short in the, uh, uh, in the compressor clutch coil, okay? So make sure you see exactly what you're seeing right now. Now, after it engages, which is after the second line, that's the maximum, which is actually with the compressor clutch engaged. Then you measure that voltage, which is not the voltage, the current. We're measuring current here. And you're, you're talking about around, around 3.7 amps. Okay, that shows that you have a good, and pretty much regardless of the brand that you're, that you're testing, uh, this is more or less what you're going to see. You could see maybe 3.2, maybe 4.3, um, uh, something like that, but around 3.7 amps. This is normal uh, for a normally for, a, for an on compressor when it's on. Okay, if it's off, you're not going to see any current, of course, you know. So anyhow, so this is exactly what we're going to see. This is what you have to see on your oscilloscope waveform. Uh, and again, you can actually use any oscilloscope that you want. On our website, we have uh, we sell uh, oscilloscopes. Uh, so pretty much go to our website, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com, and you'll be able to see them in there. Anyhow, so that's all there is to it as far as uh, compressor clutch adjustment and testing. Uh, we'd like to uh, thank you for tuning in to our website, uh, to our channel here on YouTube, ADP Training. Uh, visit our website, uh, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. Uh, again, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. We're always giving out free stuff, uh, books, uh, free software, you name it, and a bunch of other things that we give out. Uh, and it's free, so what do you care? 
uh, anyhow, so uh, uh, this channel is dedicated to uh, the uh, uh, professional technician, uh, home mechanic, uh, do it yourself or however you want to call it. Uh, it is a free channel. We don't, we don't, all we ask is for a few donations if you can. Uh, we appreciate it. It keeps our channel going uh, and it keeps the channel free. Okay. Um, again, we uh, repeat ourselves. We like to uh, tune into our website. Uh, subscribe autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. Subscribe to this channel itself. And uh, thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how to tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.